the world is mine. Your opinion is irrelevant. I emerge from nowhere and descend into your dreams, invading your peaceful illusions as a spectre, leaving chaos, damnation and fear in my wake, destroying your emotions. I leave hope and happiness cowering in the corner as I stride forward to send them into an effervescent inferno. What do you know about power? You are nothing, every single one of you. I claim souls. Do you understand me? So forth your will to me, forth your dreams to me, forth your very being. I wreck the sanity of all who dare to even understand the ferocity I cage within the haunted chambers of my mind. I am the fire and the fury. I don't need love nor affection. They are tenants for atrocities of the heart. I don't need them anymore. No love without pain. I lost my faith in such illusions. It was her, Emily. She tore my blissful fantasies apart, leaving contempt, hatred and scorn, the only virtues I believe in. Memories stained in my mind of the time we first met. We locked eyes at Club 48, while smooth R&B played in the background. The words fitted the moment so sweetly, so perfectly. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. She was a siren calling out to me. Eyes as jade spears became Medusa's gaze, freezing me where I stood, leaving me a mere witness to the delicate, resplendent sight before me. Here as an, here as an obsidian omen, gently caressing her shoulders, she floated over to me, draped in a sapphire duvet, a divine vision appearing like an epiphany. A storm of ecstasy pierced through my veins as her silk lips hypnotized me. Thoughts of running my hands through her hair, gently sinking my teeth into her neck as I descend into an animalistic mess before her. She was mine. No, I was hers. A devil obsessed with total domination of all he saw, toppled in an instant. Bliss consumed me for the first time in my life. Honestly, we were inseparable, you know. She was the perfect balance I needed, the angel my sombre heart secretly yearned for. Life became an endless tapestry of joyful memories, passion and even pain. I was addicted to everything about her, even the way she smelled, an exquisite concoction designed, designed as the Achilles heel of any man, no matter how prideful, no matter how powerful. I bowed down to her and sold my soul, fixated on her as I became a sentimental, a sentimental, lustful remnant of my former eminence. I had everything I wanted in life, power, respect and someone to share it with. I began to enjoy the benefits of such things too much. When I claimed alcohol and drug infested parties as my mistresses, she walked out the door, saying that I've changed that I was taking her for granted, that she deserves happiness. How dare she leave me? She was mine, my possession. I did everything for her. Anything she wanted, anything she dreamed, I made reality. And she walked away from me so easily. She never deserved me. She'll never find anyone like me. I am the best, unrivaled and undeniable. And she will regret her decision until her dying day. <laughs> I vowed to never again allow myself to care about the, someone that whipped the way I cared about her. I exercised passion from my heart as a malicious poison, racking my body with agony and returned to my former self. Rising from the depths of misery, strengthened by an unrelenting detestation, so look upon me as a loathsome entity, an abhorrent behemoth, and yield to my will as I inevitably welcome you to my callous, malevolent paradise. Woo!